One percenters, welcome back. Coach Tommy here. Just finished a workout and uh, saw that Damian Lillard scored 50 or something. So let's jump on here, get you guys some uh, teaching tape, Pelicans, Trailblazers. A reminder, guys, I told you I'm putting together a one-legged jump program. Need some guinea pigs. I guarantee it'll work. I'm doing it on myself. Um, I'd like to see some results in a bunch of uh, players. So let me know if you're interested. DM me or message me on Instagram at Coach T Lynn. All right, let's go. Let's go. If he scored 50, I hope he wins. CJ McCollum is back. That's good to see. This, I love this out of Zion. So, uh, I forgot who I said yesterday in a, in a teaching tape. I said, guys, when you catch the ball, right, offense, right, you, you attack first, you strike first, you don't have to wait. So as soon as he catches it, he just goes and spins. And then once he does spin, he is in a better positional advantage in here, and then he can just bang out canter. I mean, it's not a clean spin. It's not a, a great spin, but it's enough of a, a spin to get him in an advantage, and that's all you need, man. Caught the dude slipping. If you can catch it, you're open. If you can catch it, you're open. All right, let me, let me go deep into the hole on Lillard here. So screen, reject the screen, attack the big, and uh, <clears throat> come off, settle into that little spot. Okay, so for a lot of guys, I mean, this is this is really detailed now. Okay, um, a lot of guys as they go to step into their shot, their body will do this. They're attacking. Okay, their hips will be down as they're attacking, and when they go to rise up to shoot, rise up. Their hips go up. Okay, really, really smooth, great scores as they attack. Their hips are here. Okay, the same height as earlier. Okay, so normally, most normal people, the hips will come up, I mean, uh, go straight, and then when they go to shoot, they'll come up to shoot. Okay, really, really good shooters will still attack here, and as they go to attack, okay, their hips actually drop, and, and I have an exercise, it's called drops, okay, you drop your hips, and when you drop your hips, okay, it allows you to shoot that much faster, so think about that, going down to shoot instead of going up to shoot, it might not make any sense, but uh if you don't understand, you need to go try it. Um, so drop to shoot, don't stand or don't rise up to shoot. Lonzo Ball, playmaker, right? So he caught it in, in a decent position here to actually do something, right? So if that was a big man catching it, Right. Why not just bang it in and then and then go go right up like some big boy moves. Right. Instead, keeps the keeps the ball alive. Right. So this is this is what I talk about. Playmakers, roles, positions. Right. So he's more of a playmaker. So he doesn't see an easy play for him. Right. So he's looking for somebody else. He dribbles out to the short corner. OK, he dribbles out to the short corner. Stephen Adams was in the short corner. Stephen Adams replaces Lonzo's short corner. And then you got Zion coming in doing doing what Slasher does, right? So that's what a Slasher will do. And you get that nice dunk. Um, people are fitting in their roles there, and, and it looks real nice. That's too easy. Oh, my God. So it's like. You don't need any any real space. You just wait, lock it up, right? Wait for your big bigs. Make sure you're running up for these screens. Don't walk up for the screens because you want your guy chasing. Okay, that's going to put him in, in a bind when he has to switch out onto the small guy. So Cantor comes out, sets the screen, and Lonzo chooses over. Remember, whatever the defense chooses, they're wrong. Settle into that little spot, rise up. Right, elevate and shoot. Does does Dame go down here to shoot or does he go up to shoot? Let's see. He goes down. Okay, so 
drop down to shoot. Nice little attack. You can't stop Zion on the move. Is that Carmelo trying to guard Zion? There's no way. I love this out of Zion. I love his aggression when he's this, right? Driving kick, driving kick, 2.5 drill, right? Two dribbles or less, 0.5 seconds to make your decision, right? Drive, kick, drive, kick. And instead of pump fake or anything, he's just going, right? Carmelo Anthony has no chance. Nobody in the NBA has a chance against Zion on the move. Woo, guys, thanks for watching. Developed by Google, taught by Google. All right. That's tough. Gary Trent Jr. Do you guys see the opportunities to score? Right, so if you're a scorer, right, you got these guys, right? Go ahead and bump and fade away. That's always there. Okay, what else is there, right? Penetrate that and, and then hook pass it to this guy. That's also there. Instead, jump. I mean, that's not a it's not a great pass, right? Josh Hart does a great job to catch it and swing it. It's not pretty, but it's good enough. So this, this dribble handoff, I mean, if you do this with Zion, um, you're going to have big, 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 gigantic problems. It's pretty easy. Okay, this is a, like a pick play in football. It's, <laughs> it's in transition. You come this way, you just hand the ball off, and you have Zion going like this. But it's, it's Ingram, so he's not, you know, a full-on speed type guy. He, he's more taught to be a little bit shiftier and use his length. Okay, he's not using his speed very often. So this little handoff, so he stutter steps here. Okay, if this is Zion being a bull, a running back, right? Just, just see the hole and just take the hole. No stuttering, no nothing. Just go through the hole. And uh, that will work great for Zion and Giannis. Uh, those type players. That will work for uh, Fox as well. Oh. Who was that? Jackson Hayes? Jackson Hayes. Fifty-four to thirty-seven. What's going on, Portland? Trying to find a rhythm with CJ back or what? So much attention when you have a, a great player. Right, defense build the wall. This is an easy pass. It'll it'll alleviate the pressure, but won't won't really result in much. Okay, you could uh, lob it up here to Cantor, right? But Cantor's not really a jumper, so I wouldn't lob it to the center there, right? And then so you got him over here. So you got to worry about Lonzo. Who is Lonzo guarding? And then uh, if you really wanted to, you could stop, reverse, pivot, and and look for Covington. I think. Think the game, guys, when, when you kind of already know what's going on, the game comes real easy. I mean, Jesus Christ. Josh Hart against Ennis Cantor. As soon as you put that foot down, dude, as soon as you put that foot down, go. Why wouldn't you go? This guy's gonna come, this guy's gonna come to guard you, right? He's gonna come to help, and then you're gonna have Steven Adams um, available for a dunk if you can't score on Cantor. Like, why? why? Why all this? Why, why wait for him? He could have done that from the get-go, right? Like, Jesus. And remember, uh, I don't know if you guys remember a while ago, I told you Josh Hart, he really just prefers to jump off his right leg. It's very strange for a right person to prefer that right leg. So this will catch people off guard, jumping off the right leg. So you are your habits, man. I see your habits. I know how you move. I know what moves you're more comfortable doing. Um, it just is. Your body has tells. Your mentality has tells. 
your bad habits show when you're tired or bad habits show when you're pressed. Zion's so good. Um, they just need to put him in, in positions where he's making one, one or two reads and or just straight attacking. So catches it and he just goes right away. So he goes to the next layer. He's kind of in trouble here, doesn't know what to do, but he knows to at least look for the corner, right? So Lillard could have, you know, sat in that and got an easy steal, but I just, you know, I'd live with those mistakes over being real passive or slow or thinking. I'd love for him to attack right away like he's doing. DJ. No chance, DJ. One spin. Yep. Okay, so the first bump, right? The first bump happens if to test, is he going to bang me? No, he ain't trying to bang me. He's white, dude. So the next little gentle touch, he spins. Bang, bang. That's a quick spin. That's not even a power spin. Good eyes, Lonzo. Cancer, man. Uh, he probably got the worst defensive rating ever, Cancer. And uh, who else is worse than Cancer? Jokic? At least Jokic is a little bit taller. As you guys pass these long bombs, right? You just seen you just seen uh, Lonzo do it. Okay, you got to throw to the spot where your guy can catch it, right? Throw it high. Make sure it lands over here. Don't you know baby that throw, right? Even if you mess up, your guy should be able to catch it back here, pound their way back, and and get a bucket. Okay, so Lonzo does a demonstration there, and uh, right here, Lillard drops it in the bucket. I, you know. That was a little close, <clears throat> but lead your guy. Get, give him room to the outside. Got the triple team on Lillard, weaving it back. Oh, my God, one on five. Triple team on him there. Goes around. Okay, if, you, if you're those little guys, if you're the small guys, attack the big. They can't move laterally as well. Okay, so instead of choosing to go around Lonzo, choose this way and go around Steven Adams. Get to your next layer, high pickup, okay? Avoid the swipe from Zion. Oop, get to the other side. Ingram could have blocked it if he was really uh, more engaged. Lonzo could have blocked it if he really wanted to come after it. Okay, this is literally one on five. Good job by Ingram going right away. So Ingram's advantage isn't speed or anything. It's going to be length. So if a defender gets within a stride of him, I mean, it's already over. So whoever's teaching the Pelicans, I'm seeing them move a lot faster um, other than Josh Hart. So attack right away. Love it. Zion, Ingram, I see you doing it. Somebody need to tell Josh Hart to do the same thing. Yeah, man. Cantor's just a, a nice little D man, skills defender, sets up screens everywhere. <laughs> nice little screen, right? You snake it, snake it, split it, get uh get get Steven Adams on the hip, left hand, side hand finish. Between the legs to split. That's pretty man. So remember when I was I made that video on uh, the three ways to go between the legs? Okay, so between the legs, stopping on two feet right here. One, and then you hop. Okay, that's the quickest way to stop. Oh, actually, he went two. Okay, so <clears throat> the quickest way to stop is one, two at, at high speed, right? So at low speed for him, you can get a better angle by going one, two between your legs. Okay, so you can decide where to put your left foot when you're on the right foot. So you can get these crazy angles to come through here. It doesn't look like there's a gap, right? It doesn't look like there's a gap. If you put both feet like this, 
right? And he'd be, he'd be running into Steven Adams since he puts the right foot down and then he repositions that left foot that allows him to get through there. Pay, pay close attention to his feet, right? The, the right one. Okay, just that little difference in timing. Okay, here, it's gonna go right and then left. So just that little footwork. Okay, so go watch that video three between the legs. Oh, good fake boy. Got him, coach. Okay, so this is pump fake, right? And this is this is what I talk about in the spiraling video. So go check out the video on spirals. Right. This heel is up. You can't tell, but that heel, that heel is up. Okay, this low angle, right? This back angle will make him faster if he dropped down quicker, right? You have to be able to hinge your hips down quicker, right? This is not that great, but the feet do it. So the lower body does it, the upper body doesn't. Fade away, turn around. Too easy. Where's all my Zion stuff? There we go. Zion on the move is a, is a problem. He's the best slasher in the game by far. So all you got to do, Lonzo, all you got to do, ball handler, is just take this thing with speed, force this defender to show on you a little bit. If he shows on you, I mean, that's such an easy read. And then let Zion do what Zion's going to do, man. Um, point guards, playmakers, right? You guys don't have to snake the thing every time. You don't have to put the defender on your hip every time. You don't got to come use the screen. You don't got to sit. You don't got to wait. You don't got to jail him or anything like that, okay? If you got a great big setting you a great screen, go, okay? And then you put that pressure on this guy to control, uh, contain you, and then you're going to have that easy one. So that's for you ball handlers, you playmakers, understand who's in your action if it's a slash or a popper right gotta understand your personnel kyp know your personnel and right off balls is so much easier to get open when you don't have the ball okay don't have to dribble like crazy okay what is what is lonzo looking at he's not looking at lillard he's looking at the screen coming right because uh, Lillard can easily come across here. But uh, if you're positioned like this, obviously you expose this. So whatever you're looking at, Lonzo, you're wrong. I don't blame you. That's all defensive problems. That was a better pass. Come on, Carmelo. That would have been a nice dunk for Lillard. Good job again by Lonzo, man. Lonzo's he bobbles that thing. He gets to the spot. He realizes he's getting doubled, right? The trap is coming. He bobbles it. He just shovels it out of there with his right hand. I mean, left hand. Is that his left hand or right hand? But he gets out of there quick. It was a bobble. Lonzo's smart, man. He can see the game. Lonzo can see the game. Mello, Lamelo, his brother can see the game. Same action. Same action we just saw. Melo caught it here, right? What, what is going on? Is this thing coming, right? Is this my back door coming, right? So it's the exact same thing. So offense, right? Your job as an offense to make it look very, very this similar, right? Try to get these guys guessing. Try to get them thinking. If the defense is thinking, they're, they're too slow. So now what does it look like? It right, looks like he's holding up. Maybe he's going to fire over, over there, right? He's doing nothing, Covington. So then Mel turns around to this other side. Okay, so these guys got bailed out. They're not involved on the stuff. And it simply becomes a, a little, you know, 
dribble handoff. Gary Trent Jr. doesn't have the, the angle to turn, bounces it out, right? Zion comes to cover him re real quick to help out the, the guard. Quickly swing. Catch and shoot. No hesitation by Carmelo. I don't want you dribbling so much. Thank you. Who is that? At least he jabbed him right away. I don't want him dribbling so much. They're packing in behind him because he can't shoot. Then he gets, gets rid of it. Decent closeout. Whoever nine is not very fast. Got his ankle busted. Mm. Hold up, guys. I think my, my mic is uh, messed up here. Fifty points. Where's the fifty points? Does he score fifty points? Am I watching the wrong game? Or did he get a bunch of free throws and they're just not showing it to me? Okay, so I told you he likes to do the misdirection all the time. Between the legs, delayed. Okay, between the legs, and then when it's in his right hand, then he makes his move. And when I tell you guys about foot replacements, right, being light on your feet, he probably doesn't even realize that he's doing this. Okay, so as he goes between the legs, it's going to shift his foot here, okay, to get wider. And then it's going to shift it back here to get a better angle to drive. And it all happens very, very fast. You see that? Okay, most guys <clears throat> through here will go between the legs, okay, and load up on this leg, and then they'll like shift their core over and they'll keep that leg down. Okay, so there's two ways of doing it. Okay, this one's just a little bit quicker. So easy, man. There he goes, trying to jump off that right foot. Come on, Josh Hart. Covington been watching some video. He's been watching some teaching tape. So you can sit on players' moves if you know what they're going to do, what their tendencies is, right? Defense, you're just waiting, waiting for your opportunity. They walk right into the trap. He's going to shoot this. So going down, right? Going down, the hips go down and she comes here and then drops just another level to get into that shot. I mean, this is ridiculous. Bend down to go get that ball. Drop down to shoot. Drop down to shoot. Don't rise up to shoot. Woo. All right, man. Go. Where's all my one-footed jumpers at, man? Message me. Oh, Covington, why don't you just go? He's allergic to the paint, man. He's allergic to the paint. Boom. Great fake he jumps. Um, <laughs> why not? Or you could just get in front of him and put him on your hip and then go. I mean, you'd rather shoot a contested three hand in face. That's what I mean. So Covington, what is he guys? A sniper, right?
alert sniper sniper turning into a score Oh my God, like I said, right? Whatever you do is wrong, right? So it looks like he's going to go over and possibly shoot it here and challenge him, right? But as soon as Bledsoe jumps that screen too early, Lillard reverse pivots and spins and then hops into a, into a three. Okay, you got to release that ball and hop into it, guys. They release the ball, okay? So now his feet are free to move left and then hop, okay? Elastic type jump shot. Uh, now this is a clinic. Dane time, 116-117, what's going on? How did he score 50 points? It didn't seem like he scored 50 points. Am I watching the wrong stuff? Does this game go to overtime? I mean, you have three dudes on the uh, the Blazers that can get a shot off. It could, it could be Lillard, Melo, or uh, CJ. If you have a big man, I guess I got to go to Melo. Steps on the line there, which is probably not a good idea. But Melo been doing that forever. Go, go, go. Like, why, why, why? <clears throat> the game is getting closer. This is, you know, I want him to go all the time, right? But in, late in the game, you got to be a little bit patient. Remember, you don't need a, a bunch of moves to get to your spot, right? So he just needs to get here where Covington begins to apply resistance. So all he does is just back down, right? All he does is just dribble backwards. He can dribble backwards, get into your spot, right? As soon as he bangs, it's going to be left, right, and he's just going to score so easily. I mean... The blazer, blazer's not going to help him at all. <clears throat> See, so he gets it here, right? So instead of doing all kinds of dribble moves to get down, they just three dribbles back, four, right? Little fake spin. <laughs> Barbecue chicken, man. Let's change of pace. All right, a little change of pace right there. Okay, so if, if he goes full speed, I'm sure he could shoot somewhere here, right? Attacks the big, change of pace a little bit. How's he going to guard me? He's not letting me shoot that three. Go into him right there. Don't, don't worry about this guy in the corner, right? Covington, man. Covington has no chance. The ridiculous thing about Zion, he's probably 100 pounds heavier than Covington. 70 pounds heavier? Jesus Christ. <laughs> How amazing is Zion, the, the athlete? Like 70 pounds heavier, right? So, guys, right between the legs, right? And then go, right? It's a delayed. And when I talk about foot replacements, lifting up his feet. Okay, normally, as you go be between here, if you're going to go this way, most is going to push with that foot. Okay, so he goes here and then he replaces his foot back. Okay, this is, I mean, this is all in the spiraling stuff that I tell you guys about replacing your feet quickly. I guarantee you no other coach is getting this deep in the weeds in mechanics and, and positioning your feet like this. Okay. Okay, so if your foot is up like this, okay, and your heel is on the floor, you're pulling, okay, you're pulling. Okay, you want to change the angle on your foot. Okay, so just because you move your foot backwards doesn't mean you're like getting slower or losing speed. So he changes that position on his left foot. So now it's here. Now it's like now it's like you're in that starting block as a as a sprinter. Right, it's this position here, right? 
versus foot down like this, like that. Some of you might do it naturally. A lot of you, it's either been trained out of you or you're just slow and never been able to actually find out on your own. Right there. Okay. So when I talk about, uh, we did a Josh Hart earlier, right? This is the angle that I want. That is the angle. That is a spiraling video. This is the one that you need to train. Huh? What the hell is Coach talking about? Go watch that spiraling video. I'm telling you, that's the number one freaking thing for you guys to do. Um, if you've made it this far, you're definitely a one percenter. So, so might as well go check it out over there. They lose. Let's wrap this game up. Are they going to lose or what? Or is are they going to pull some crazy stuff out? I don't need it. Oh my God, don't do that. Okay, so he gets a lot of free throws. Oh my God, bonehead. Oh, he just got nervous. He had plenty of room. Hit that. Oh my God, hit that. No, why did you dribble? You got fouled. And okay, so that's how they went. I sit, that boy cold. <laughs> oh, that was a good look. <laughs> that was a really good look. Oh my God, that would have been sick if he made that. All right. Oh my God, what did we learn? Uh, Dame looks make it way too easy. I don't know how that was 50 points. So that was probably a lot of. Uh, free throws down down the line but uh what do we learn reminder to drop down when you shoot don't rise up when you shoot um practice that spiraling stuff go watch that video zion does it well josh hart in this video does it poorly or not poorly 50 percent of the way um if you want to be elite you got to move better man um you got to be a great athlete right so in, in terms of the nba whatever level you're playing on you have to be athletic enough to get on the court okay once you're athletic enough to get on the court you have to have the skills to stay on the court, okay? So I might be highly, highly skilled, but there's no way I can get on an NBA floor and even you know last a second because they're such superior athletes, right? So athletically, you have to be good enough to get on the court and skills and all that other stuff, the craft, the mind stuff, it will keep you on the court. All right, guys, until next time, take 40 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better.